Day Zero. Hello everybody, and welcome back to The Captain. So today, we are going to finally collect the fuel cells that we're missing, and hopefully try and find our way back to Earth. I don't know how long it'll take to gather each one, but we need to pick a planet and head there and get this journey started. So let's open it up, and... Okay, so these are our options. VL624. This planet is the property of the AAE, the A Corp. It is currently in Eld mode. Be advised to stay clear and avoid contact. So I don't know if it's a good idea to go there. Merchant Mick. The, with prices you can afford. We specialize in ship upgrade kits, but sell and buy pretty much any hardware we can get our hands on. They've got lasers, star fragments, energy capsules. They got a lot of good stuff, but I don't know if we should buy anything just yet, because we don't really know what we're doing yet. Hostile zones, dev oh, brute bandreek, gang affiliation, floppy flocks. Bandreek is a Terracian gangster who firmly believes in free information. He's accused and wanted for robbing 24 information vaults and compromising several security compounds. Brute Bandreek has been impri imprisoned more than once, but has so far escaped every time. Famous for his violent and exaggerated means to reach his goal, he now flies under the name of Brute. Well, Brute is definitely better than going by floppy flocks, so I, I understand. Enemies detected. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so we could simulate them in the battle simulator if we want. We'll worry about that later. We'll stay out of the hostile territory for now. Oh, we got another one. Rico Red, gang affiliation, Papa Pops. Rico Red, formerly known as Ravishing Rick, described as viciously handsome and charismatic. He became one of the first front page celebrity gangsters smuggling weapons during the Grand Depression. Currently known for running the lethal Papa Pop gang in the outer regions, Rico is one of the most wanted outlaws after partaking in the massacre of Red Monday. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so uh, we're gonna stay away from them for now. Ooh, we can see more over here. Creon Crystal. Oh, one of the fuel cells is there. A very cold and uninhabited planet. 46 days. Epsilon Station. This is the location where all Space Fleet's fuel cells are made. It was also the station responsible for the failed transport mission to send the fuel cells back to Earth. Reason to visit. Investigate why the transport mission failed. Oh, that could be important. Burke's Tradeverse. Come on over to Burke's Tradeverse if you're looking to offload some unnecessary cargo or are perhaps looking for something to perfect your negotiation skills, like a rocket launch system. Burke's Tradeverse is the place to visit. Oh, so you do have different stuff, I think. Uh, still not gonna buy from you just yet. And last one, Soma. We've got no information on Soma. Alright, so, um... We'll start off, we, we definitely need to head over to Epsilon, but I think it would be better to go to the desert planet first, because that's the closest one. It's ten days away, the others are a little farther away, we can start here and then go from place to place. So let's go to the desert planet first. Destination set to desert planet, estimated arrival in ten days. There it is. Day 10. Orbiting- Hey, I'm trying to read! Captain! Yes? <laughs> we have arrived at the planet from which the distress signal originated. Distress signal? A weak distress signal is detected from the planet's surface. A few days ago, I reported on an emergency beacon my sensors picked up. Ah, oh, sorry. I think I remember now. I have pinpointed the correct landing locations for both the signal transmissions and the fuel cell location. Okay, thanks. Oh, origin of signal. Let's go to the signal first. Someone needs help, so let's go there first. Land. Okay, ship. Prepare the shuttle for landing. I'm going down to check on that signal. Aye, aye, Captain. Whoa! <laughs> He got yeeted! Am I in control? What's going on? Whoa, that was cool! Oh! 
Is there someone here? Oh. Landing complete. Another perfect one filed under P for perfect. Oh, I said that wrong. Really? It sounded like something broke. Nope, without a hitch. Smooth sailing all the way. I don't know, shuttle. I'm pretty sure I heard a loud bang. A bang? Ha, huh, not for me, you didn't. Is that a power coupling on the ground? What? Where? All oh, that! You can see that far? Uh, of course I can see that far. It's right there on the ground. Come on, shuttle, why do you keep lying about things like this? Let's do that one. I'm just trying to give you relevant information you can actually use. Well, I think giving me information that you're broken would be relevant, but whatever. Pretty certain this is relevant information. Thank you! <laughs> Pretty sure this is relevant information I can actually use. I'm doing the best I can here. So the power coupling outside the window was the bang I heard? Yup. Okay. Great report there, shuttle. Guess we ain't getting off this planet until that is fixed. Head on the nail there, sir. Better get out looking for a solution. Are you still getting that emergency signal? Yes. It's pretty weak, though. Alright, well, let's get out and go looking. It might be right there. I must fix the power coupling before I can leave. Oh, 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 that's to leave. Okay, let's go up to the power coupling. Let's pick it up. Doo -doo -doo. It's still sizzling hot. I better wait. No need to burn digits. Ah, good point. Let's keep going. Look at us. Our little feet. Tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick. Plug board. Ladder. Sun panel. It is a regular old style plug board for power cables. Uh, pull the ladder. Somehow I cannot reach that position. Sun panel. Touch it. Oh, I can't touch it. I could look at it. The sun panel's position isn't optimal for maximum power generation. Hmm. Maybe we could help with that. It's a titanium door. Doesn't seem to be powered. I can see some sort of freezer and a lot of boxes inside. Hmm. Power cable. So what if we... Ship. What if we use the power cable on that, on the ladder, to pull it down? Wait. I saw green for a sec. Okay. Oh, okay. We can't get it just yet. Wall socket. See, this panel seems to be missing a cable. Oh, I have one. There we go. Okay, the door won't open just yet, but I think if we go up and fix the sun panel, that might help. Fix it. There we go. Alright, let's go back to the wall saw. No, oh, no! The panel will not stay up by itself. I need to find something to tie it up with. Huh. Alright, I guess let's look around. Hmm. Flag. It's a space fleet flag, but it's a very old design. And it looks like it has been hanging there for a long time. So there might not be anyone in here. Can I go over here? Nope, I guess I'm stuck over here for now. Uh, what can we use? Oh, wait. Okay, hang on. I have an idea. That is the wrong idea. Close that. Alright, I have an idea. We don't really need this ladder once it's fixed, so what if we move this up and tie it. There we go. Plug board. Okay. And then take this out, because we don't need the ladder anymore. Put it in the door. Open the door. There we go. Open the door. Oh! There's a person in here! A note. My name is Glacis. I was a junior engineer on the former Space Fleet cargo vessel, Bulkidus, when it suddenly crashed. I managed to escape, but I fear my comrades may have met their doom. 
It's been two months now and my supplies are all gone. I have modified a meat freezer to work as a cryo chamber. I will use it to wait for the rescue team. It shouldn't take long now. I miss my loved ones. The thought of seeing you again is what keeps me going. If more than 50 years have passed, please don't bother to wake me up. Pass 042. How long has it been? Freezer display. Someone has modified the freezer's display to function as an EKG monitor. I've read about these computers in school. They were based on an old MEF-MES structures. Wouldn't surprise me if I could sell this machine to a collector for quite a bit of cash. Well, maybe we should wake them up first. I don't think that is how you operate this freezer. <laughs> Alright, well then, let's go to the computer. Meet freezer and message system. Log in. Oh, wait, 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 wait. One sec. What did the note say? Take the note, actually. 042. 042. You got an unread message. From Thor. Hi, man. Long time no see. I heard you're going on a cargo run to Omnicron T. Still keeping that going? That soon girl entertained? Smiley face question mark. Let's keep in touch. Thor. From Melinda. Nine eight whoa whoa nine hundred eighty nine years ago wait whoa, whoa. <laughs> has has the person been here that long? Since hearing about the attack on your ship three weeks ago, I've been devastated. But now they tell me that the log recorded you escaping the destruction in the pod. That's such good news. If you get this but can't respond, just know we're coming to get you, dear love. From Thor. Hi. I don't know if you'll get this, but I'll try anyway. I heard about the accident, and that you got lost somehow. I just volunteered to assist in the search for you, so nothing can stop us from finding you, smiley face, period. See you soon. From Melinda. They couldn't locate the destination of your pod. After weeks of probing, they still can't explain where you went. I'm sure you're still out there. I can feel it. Don't give up, love. Never give up. For John. From John. John here. Mom couldn't write when I'm about to, so here it goes. They gave up the search for you yesterday. You are officially dead, Dad. I miss you. This reminds me of the old times. You not getting a chance to respond to my rambles. Aww. From Melinda. 987 years ago. Not knowing whether you're dead or alive at this moment is tearing me apart. 16 months now. Feels like a lifetime. I have to move on now. I need to focus on what's here. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Bye, my love. Forever yours. This will be the last message I send to you, Dad. It's been seven years now since you went missing. Mom passed away this summer after some terrible years of illness. If you're out there, I hope you're not in pain. Love you. Oh. Oh my god. It's almost a thousand years. Content unknown possibly chicken. <laughs> Open. Let's free them. Huh? Uh. What time is it? Have I overslept? You just woke up from the cryo chamber. You must be quite disoriented. Oh, hold on. I remember now. My name is Glacius. I am a Space Fleet Sergeant. Wait a minute. Are you Space Fleet? Yes, I am. Captain Thomas Wellmew. Oh. My escape pod crashed on this planet. What happened? I'm not sure. We were just hauling cargo to the Pristina system. And then, out of nowhere, something made the ship go completely haywire. People started to run for the escape pods. We were totally out of control when I got out, I remember. I couldn't see much from inside my pod, so I'm not sure if anyone else made it out, though. Oh, if they made it out, they're dead by now, I'm sorry. You survived. Yeah, but I still need help. The planet is dead and dry and I can't get off of it. And I have only supplies for two months left. That's why I froze myself in hopes of getting rescued later. Are you here to save me? I have a shuttle nearby, but I need help with repairs. Yeah, that's a good one. We can get off together. I'll take you with me. Like the sound of that, a shuttle shouldn't be hard to fix. Just show me. Uh, just a small question. How long was I frozen? 
<gasps> mm. Oh no. Uh. I can't lie. He's just gonna find out anyway he needs to know the truth. It would be unfair to not tell him. I'm afraid you've been under for almost a thousand years. What? That can't be correct. I need to check the computer. Log in. Check date. A thousand years. Oh my god! My family! Valinda! John! Gone? I don't see the point anymore. Where is that damn pill? I can't find my pill. Did you take it? Uh, no. What pill do you mean? My self-termination pill. The one that all Space Fleet personnel get. Wait a minute. Do they still issue those to Space Fleet personnel? They do, don't they? Give me yours. Oh. I can't do... Oh, uh, I don't know. I'll give you mine, but don't do something over eager now. Sorry, I can't just do that. This is not their purpose, but isn't... Mm. Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know. Give. I'll give you mine, but don't do something over eager now. No! No! Uh, are you okay? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What have I done? What's a flex deductor? It's an old type of flex deductor. This could fit the power coupling casing. Oh no! I'm so sorry, Glacius! Oh no, I feel- oh no, I feel so bad. I didn't want to lie, I didn't want to make him suffer, I didn't expect him to do it right then and there. Oh no. I guess at least he'll be with his family. I don't- I'm so sorry, Glacius. So we'll delete all messages and reset the year counter. Oh, we could have done that and lied to him. It's too late now. I'm so sorry, Glacius. Well, shit stains. That didn't go very well. Oh, I feel so bad. I didn't, I didn't, oh, I should have known, but still. If I'm gonna use anything with this, I should pick it up first, okay. I guess we gotta go now. At least they're together, I guess. I don't know, it's better th than, than nothing. He's not frozen in time forever, at least. It's still missing some parts. What am I missing? Uh, what are we missing? The access hatch for the shuttle maintenance is blown open. It's missing a power coupling. Oh, let's just steal this one. <laughs> There's no reason for it to stay here, uh, cause he's dead. So let's just. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> How long would he have even stayed with us if we let him live? I don't know. I guess we'll never know. Maybe I'll come back and play it again sometime. What are we missing? <laughs> A chip servo. Oh great, we have to go back inside. Oh, the drawer. I can open the drawer. Chip servo. Nice, just what I needed. I'm so sorry, Glacius. I'll remember you. I'll try and save you in another timeline. Oh, but I don't want to at the same time. It just feels so wrong to lie to him about that. His family's been dead for a thousand years and we trick him just so he could fix the thing with us. It doesn't seem fair. I don't know. I feel like I did the right thing, but the right thing also feels very wrong. <laughs> oh, well, let's just get the hell out of here. 
<laughs> oh god. There we go. This should fix it. Let's get out of here, shuttle. Please take me back. I don't want to be here anymore. Oh. Oh. There's new- there- oh. You get different endings. So there's one where we leave alone. Is there one where we leave together? <gasps> the gains and losses of this adventure suicide pill. <laughs> well, we're back. Uh, so, we're gonna end it here for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourselves and have a good day.